Good morning. Welcome to Atlanta. We are on our way down to the airport to pick up Spence. We are heading to the HAI Expo, our HAI Heli Expo, which is Helicopter Association International's Heli Expo. Massive event. It's going to be a ton of fun. So let's get to it. <laughs> HAI was an incredible time and we got to meet so many fantastic people. One thing that it was quick to somewhat realize once we got to the expo was that being of military background was sort of interesting because the expo is not necessarily geared towards the military community. It's much more geared towards, you know, your private commercial and charter aviation as well as public aviation sectors. A lot of booths that were there, uh, some of which we didn't just have the time to capture because there were hundreds definitely was the newest of the new technology of hoist equipment or rescue systems or companies that are, you know, the leading edge of training solutions for organizations across the world. One of the incredible opportunities we had while we were at HAI was one recording with the Flight Suit Friday podcast, which there'll be a link in the description below for, but also sitting down with the VP of Shotover and getting some in-depth knowledge about their systems. Now, we don't have video recording uh, because it was at the end of the day, everyone was tired, and so we just mic'd them up and, and had some really awesome conversations, and we're going to share some of those highlights with you now. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we are here at HI with our M2, finally. I mean, uh, last year we had we had planned to do a launch of our new multi-sensor system. Um, yep, delays happened. You know, obviously, COVID hits, hit a lot of people with uh, electronic components and things, and we were not immune to it as well. And um, so we did actually launch the M2 at AppsCon in July last year. So we weren't a year behind where we thought we would be, but, um, but here we are for the first time at, at, at uh, HI with the, the uh, M2 multi-sensor. So our M2, you know, really it's um, best described, and I, I use this here at the show, I talked about last year again, but it's it's uh, it's a different type of product. It's really the spirit of something innovative being released into into the into this world of airborne imaging. So the best parallel I can say that's as a direct relationship is that we all know and recognize that we're using here today iPhones and all right. you know, these mobile devices, you know, it's it's really been a real game changer in the context of information sharing and before that, what did you have? You had, you know, Blackberries just before that with a fixed keyboard and some added capability of doing more than just a contact list and a phone. A little bit before that was just your Nokia phone, right? That's right. But but I think the big step everybody recognized from that, even that Blackberry to a mobile device, all of a sudden you had this really a software product with this minimal hardware, but it but suddenly could do all these things. Yep, it's a good phone. Yep, it's a good contact list, but now it had a web browser, internet connectivity. The sky was the limit at that point. Maps, I mean, you know, people can't live without it today, right? It was that much of a change to a phone. Went off on that tangent because that's where we are with our M2. So can we now build this software-defined imager, if that makes sense, kind of like a software-defined radio? Can we make this new imaging system that really is software-based for, for the majority of its features of functionality? And that's what this product really is. So the M2... This is a computer vision device or this airborne imaging device that from a, from the outside, yep, it looks kind of similar with cameras and lenses types of things, but but the truth is it's just uh, from the architecture from the ground up, it is totally different. Aesthetically, it looks quite different as well, right? right? Because of that unique roll arm in the back, and uh, that was intentional. We wanted to keep that six axes design at, you know, uh, from, from the existing shot of our camera systems. That's actually one of their 
biggest, you know, we want to say inventions, if you will, or innovative, right. you know, introductions into the into the uh, gimbal space. So we carried that forward because that has a, a incredible value in uh, real life operational benefits for everybody that we wanted to buy the M2. You know, so again, this is going to be the M2 is designed for uh, primarily primarily this the, the homeland security missions, the public safety, search and rescues, uh, that type of customer base, and um, getting these you know these features where the six axis how does that play out to benefit? You know, this this allows uh, you know the the operator to um, continue to either follow that person that was that they were they were trying to rescue or, or capture or whatever. Again, back to the operational benefit, the operator, the TFO, or just the, the search and rescue person, the diver in the back, the that's the top of the system, they see a perfectly stable and clear image. Top of the line data sheet feature for a lot of people to connect with is the range performance. So it's double the range performance of anything in class. Because right, else, you, you, if you're going to come to market with something innovative, you can come to market with all sorts of cool things. But if you don't improve the range performance, you know, frankly, you're not really pushing things forward a lot. You're not giving, that's the key benefit of this, this uh, M2 when it comes to performance. So in particular now, uh, details on the infrared and the EL. So right now it's a multi-sensor visible band and a mid-wave infrared band. So back to the long light cooler, direct benefit. They know that it's going to outlive the, the life of the sensor. So they don't have that headache to worry about anymore. The, the other benefits of these the newer technologies, things have been reduced in size, you know, the actual physical detectors. So that means so you're actually seeing up closer with not having to have a bigger gimbal to carry a bigger op. And then the, then the last final thing to say, 10 micron is back to that point where you can see just as far as once. And frankly, you could probably see a little bit farther. Um, we're pretty proud of it. Um, we're not imager experts. Um, so when you're a small company, you can't afford to have hundreds of engineers that are experts in everything. That's what you want to do. And that's what you probably be when you become a big company one day, like a Raytheon is a good good example where they've got fantastic material scientists, they got fantastic optical scientists, they got a fantastic budget that can pay for all that, right? And they're a fantastically big company. We'll get there hopefully one day, but as a small company, you do things smartly. Uh, my background, knowing a lot of people in the industry over the years. Again, huge thanks to Shotover, and we're going to have some subsequent videos diving into some more specifics on some of the Shotover camera systems to include the M2, the K1, so on and so forth. But we talked with Robert for almost an hour, and it's just too much to share in one video, so we do plan on splitting it up. We want to say thank you to Shotover as well as GoCoastGuard.com for making everything that we did at HAI possible, from being at HAI to recording with the Flight Suit Friday podcast, as well as learning just so much and being able to network and connect with some amazing companies. Also going on is our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We are giving away a Bose A20 headset as well as an adapter uh, to use for rotary wing applications. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, comment on the video below. You must uh, subscribe to the channel as well as comment on a video to be entered into that. And we will be doing that giveaway on a video that will be coming out soon. Again, we cannot say thank you enough to Shotover for all their amazing support. And we're gonna go ahead and make them the sponsor of this video. Uh, so until next time, thanks for hanging out with us at Brotalian. Stay tuned for more from HAI as well as some other things coming up. Till next time, guys.